you know, there is many ways to smell like the ever so popular Maison Francis Kirk John Baccarat Rouge 540 nowadays. You can actually wear that if you want. There's so many alternatives to that fragrance, that very expensive fragrance. You can go with clones from Middle Eastern houses, or you can go with inspired by fragrances from different niche houses. It's also designers as well, celebrity fragrances. Today, I want to talk to you about the favorite that I've smelled so far in my journey that I prefer over Baccarat Rouge 540, and that is Trajan from the house. Of Electimus. What's up, everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Bio Two Fragrances. And in today's video, I got a full blown review for you for our Trajan from the house of Electimus. I'm gonna go over a lot of information, how the scent is, and what I get from it, and do I think it's worth the money for you as a great alternative to Baccarat Rouge 540 that I just mentioned. So yes, let's talk about this fragrance right here, Trajan. This fragrance was released in the year of 2020. So two years ago, it's an extract de parfum concentration. I can't find a perfumer for this fragrance. Uh, in the comment section below, if you know who made this, let me know. I don't, I couldn't find anything. The next thing we're gonna cover is, the next thing we're gonna cover is the presentation. I normally don't like to do presentation, but I need to do this for full blown reviews. This fragrance comes in a box like this. I've got the cellophane that came on it already taken off, but it's like this. You see Electimus London here on the sides. You got the information on the back and it opens up like this, coffin style. Very nice presentation to me. And if I wanted to waste the spray for you, the sprayers are pressurized atomizers and they are really fine mist as you see, really great sprayers smells amazing the next part i want to cover for you i don't think a lot of youtubers covers this i don't think any other youtuber covers this and i wouldn't include it for my review criteria i got my notes right here i want to talk to you about the availability where you can find this fragrance because no one else really covers that when it comes to actually buying a bottle of trajan by Lectimus, i'm going to show you the, i'm going to tell you the sites from the retail and discounter sites so from the discounter sites, you have Aura Fragrance, which is where I bought my bottle from, or you got FragranceBuy.ca, two very well trusted discounter sites that fragrance connoisseurs know about. That's where I saw that you can buy this fragrance from. When it comes to the retail, if you have to pay it, if you want to pay retail, I won't recommend it though. You can get it from the official Electimus London website, as well as Lucky Scent. Max Aroma, Crystal Fragrance. I got a few other ones too. It's all gonna be in the description below the information I'm telling you of where you can find that for retail. The next part I wanna tell you about is where you can buy samples of this set. Availability comes to samples. Scent Split, Decant X, Scents Angel, and the Fragrances line. I've got all the text right here showing up. Those are great places to check out to where you can buy samples of this as well. The next part I wanna tell you about real quick is the price points that you can find this at. When it comes to the retail sites that I was showing, telling you just now, um, some sites have this for $235, I don't know why, and other sites have it for $210. But it doesn't matter, honestly, I don't recommend you buy it at that price. I always get it for the best price you can get it because the prices that I was finding at discounters. So from Aura Fragrance, I got this for $160, much better price. And FragranceBuy.ca, when they have it in stock, they have it for 135 so even better price. When it comes to those two websites, if you go on the website and you see that this is out of stock, what I would do is I would put in your email to be notified whenever it goes back in stock, because that's what I did. That's how I got my bottle from Aura Fragrance. Another cool thing to tell you that I'm doing, I'm actually bringing this back. I did this before on previous videos when I was actually uploading more. I actually have 10, or sorry, two 10 ml decants right here that I am actually selling, I'm not giving away, but I'm selling these for $20 each, which is a great price because normally from the sample websites, these go from around $37 for this size. So if there's anyone interested that's wanting to try this fragrance out, just hit me up in the comments below because I'm selling mine for 20. 
This came from this bottle and I'm using that money to buy more fragrances. When it comes to the note breakdown for Lex Miss London Trigine, I'm gonna bring it up like right here. You have top notes of blood orange, mandarin, lemon, and bergamot, heart notes of saffron, lavender, and sage, and base notes of ambergris, oak moss, and cedar. Now when it comes to the scent of Electimus Trajanon, what I get, because I'm actually wearing this today, this has that kind of airy, cotton candy-like sweetness, like Baccarat Rouge 540, because this is clearly inspired by that. However, I don't get any type of latex glove type smell that people will say they get from Baccarat Rouge 540. People that don't maybe like that aspect of it, don't get that in this at all. And I think this is more citrus and also a little bit more like creamier than Baccarat Rouge 540. The blood orange in here, which is my favorite, one of my favorite top notes, it opens up really like creamy with kind of like this like Tonka base note. Um, Tonka is not a, it's not a listed note, but on the back of the box, it does say Coumarin, which is pretty much Tonka, it smells like it. So I get like this kind of creamy, creamy Tonka citrus vibe. It's a little bit aromatic, not too much, but it has that overall Baccarat Rouge 540, like airy, kind of candy sweetness. So it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit clean, but it's airy and sweet. And it's super attention getting. A lot of people know that Baccarat Rouge 540, if you wear that, you know to get a lot of compliments for what that's worth. I don't care about compliments at all. I really don't. But this is one of those where if you want to smell great, smell unique, because a lot of people are not gonna be wearing something like this. They're just not. And you want to appeal to as many people as possible. This is one that would be great for that. Nothing challenging at all, easy to wear. When it comes to the versatility of this fragrance, I think that this can be worn any season, any occasion, because there's nothing overly dense or rich about this fragrance, but there's nothing super light either. And it does have really good staying power. Talking about the performance as well as versatility. I get, when I wear this, it pushes 10-ish hours on my skin. It projects really strong for the first two-ish hours. It has really great performance. And I would wear this dressed up or dressed down. Um, honestly, there's other fragrances out there that I would wanna wear instead of this dressed up personally, but you can, but dress down, I think this would be great. When it comes to like going out, going out to like parties, clubs, or just wearing it casual, or for a nice date night, I think this would be amazing for that. It doesn't have the warm, sensual, sexy nature that a date night fragrance, is, should, fragrance should have to me, but you still can wear it for that. And it's not overly heavy to where you can't wear it in the summertime. It would be great in the summer, but I think it's got enough strength to it to where you can even wear it when it's cold. So any season, any occasion for me, when it comes to versatility, nice one. The last thing that I want to cover for you guys, this is a really cool thing I want to throw in for my reviews. I hope I'm not, that's not over the place, is alternatives. Alternatives to this fragrance, and I guess you could say Buckeye Rouge 540, like alternatives. I'm not gonna mention clones. I wanna go by inspired by fragrances. So fragrances like Mancera's Instant Crush, which I did, used to have that. That got me insane reactions, like this will. Instant Crush, also Thomas Cosmala's number four, another really good one. My, my, I smell I smelled that. Montal Sensual Instinct and All Saints Sunset Riot. These four right here come at different price points. They also are all nice alternatives to this. And as a result, the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA, these are nice alternatives. I wanted to go with inspired by takes because this is an inspired by take of Baccarat Rouge 540. So, Get a sample maybe of all of these, find out which one works best for you. I don't recommend you go out and blind buy, but those are great for solid alternatives. When it comes to my final thoughts, guys, um, in my eyes, I like this fragrance more than Baccarat Rouge 540. I like that it has more of that creamy citrus aspect. I like that more. Um, I think the Baccarat Rouge 540, I think it does have a little bit more of an upscale like, smell to it. Not when it comes to like, ingredients, but like, when you when I wear that, when I smell it, it just smells more upscale. This is not as upscale, but it does smell still classy. But I like the more creamy, sweet aspect of this over Baccarat Rouge 540. And also, I like that this is a 100 ml size bottle. The Baccarat Rouge 540 is 70 ml bottle. And I can find this for much better prices than Baccarat. 
So for me, this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 Killer. For me, you may think different, and if you do, let me know in the comment section below if you smell both. You know, we all have our opinions, obviously. But I think this fragrance is really nice. It's a, like Baccarat Rouge 540, I think if someone is just getting into the world of niche fragrances from smelling mass market designers, I think that they would really like this one. And they would appreciate that it's not anything that's trying to be too challenging, artsy, or different. But you will smell different and unique from everybody else that's wearing the same old stuff. So I got for you guys today, man. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of Alexman's Trash Line? Have you smelled this fragrance? And also, if you're interested in wanting to buy one of these key cans right here that I got for 20 bucks each, you know, better than buying it for like near 40 from the actual sample websites, let me know in the comment section below. So I got for y'all today, man. Hope you have a nice day, nice evening. Till next time.